and welcome to Sunday School for March 14th, 2021. I hope you guys are having a great week. I am in quarantine because I was exposed to COVID. Um, I have no symptoms, but uh, just for safety, I'm in quarantine this week. So we are, uh, I'm coming to you from my home today. So we are going to learn from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37, and that is the Good Samaritan. That is a very popular one. Um, it's called a parable. Jesus told many stories to help us understand uh, who he is and how his kingdom works. All right, so uh, there was this man who went uh, and uh, talk to Jesus, and this man was a lawyer, and uh, he asked Jesus what he has to do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus asked him, "Well, what's written in the what's written in God's law?" And God's law is the Ten Commandments, um, and uh, the Ten Commandments, as you know, talk about loving God by um, not having any other gods, not taking His name in vain, remembering the Sabbath day, and they talk about loving neighbor by obeying our parents and uh, other authorities and not lying and not stealing and not murdering and those sorts of things. So the lawyer goes and asks Jesus, what do I have to do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, what does God's law say? And he says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and all your mind and all your strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus says, that's good. Uh, and uh, the lawyer says, well, who is my neighbor? And so Jesus, uh, knowing that he is trying to say, well, oh, well, my neighbor is just the guy that lives next door, right? We normally think of the neighbor that lives next door. We have, you know, two houses and they're right next to each other or maybe right across the street. And Jesus goes, all righty, let's talk about this. So he tells this story um, about um, a man who's on walking on the road and he gets uh, beaten up by some robbers. Some robbers beat him up and they take all his, uh, take all of his uh, stuff and they leave him on the side of the road. So here's your robbers and here's the man. And uh, when they leave him there, he's pretty much, uh, he'll die if he's not taken care of. So he's along the side of the road and um, all of a sudden, a priest comes by and uh, the priests are kind of like pastors. They're not quite the same thing. There are some differences because after Jesus died on the cross, uh, we uh, have some things that we don't have to do anymore that the priest did back then. Uh, so here's your priest walking by, but the priest uh, saw the man and instead of helping him out, he went to the other side of the road. And uh, so the man is still on the side of the road and the priest has ignored him. Then a Levite comes by and a Levite um, also works in the temple, uh, not quite the same thing as a priest. Um, so maybe maybe today's equivalent would be like a DCE or a deaconess. Uh, so the, the Levite comes by, but the Levite doesn't help him either. The Levite goes to the other side of the road, just like the priest did. So he really thinks that it's kind of over for him, the guy on the side of the road. But then a Samaritan comes by and Samaritans and Jews were not friends. Uh, they, um, they just didn't like each other. They had a lot of religious differences. They had um, a lot of other kinds of differences as well. And so you would figure the Samaritan would go to the other side of the road too, but instead, the Samaritan felt sad for him, and the Samaritan put him on his animal, probably like a donkey. Okay, so now the he's on the he's on the donkey instead of on the side of the road, and then he took care of his wounds with wine and oil, which were the closest thing that they had to like antibiotic cream and band aids and stuff. And so he did that, took care of his wounds, um, and uh, brought him onto his donkey. And then he brought him to an inn, which isn't quite the same thing as a hotel, but it, there's enough similarities. Uh, so he brought him to an inn and he gave the innkeeper the money. He gave the innkeeper the amount of money needed to, uh, 
to take care of, or at least as much as he was hoping would be needed to take care of the man uh, for a while. And uh, actually the amount of money he gave him was uh, the same amount that you would have to work two whole days to, um, to make. And he said, if, if he needs anything more than what this money will pay, I'll come back and I'll pay the, the rest of it. And so the innkeeper normally would just give food and a place to stay, but uh, the Samaritan also asked him to take care of his wounds. So Jesus finished his story. And so now we're back to Jesus and the lawyer. And uh, Jesus says, so who was the good neighbor? And uh, the lawyer was probably reluctant, to, but he said, the Samaritan. And Jesus then says to him, go and do likewise. Uh, so we want to take care of our neighbor. And um, our neighbor isn't just the person that lives on uh, in the house next door or across the street. Our neighbor is our friends at school. Our neighbor is um, our teachers. Our neighbor is a person that lives in China, a person that's on the International Space Station, a person that's in Montana, a person that's in Mexico, wherever, a person that's in Tampa. It doesn't matter. Um, a person, any person is our neighbor. And so we want to love them and show them God's uh, care. Uh, but we aren't very good at that. Um, we have our sin fighting with us. And um, so sometimes we, instead of being loving, we hit our friends or we tell a lie or we disobey our parents and all those sorts of things. And sin keeps us away from God. Sin makes us enemies with God, just like the Jews and the Samaritans were enemies. Uh, but when we were in our sin, our sin beat us up and left us on the side of the road to die. Jesus came along. Jesus is like the Samaritan. And he died on the cross to take away, take away our sins so that we could be with him forever. And he loves us that much. And so we want to take care of our neighbors. Um, sometimes we fail, but Jesus loves us and Jesus loves our neighbors. And he died on the cross to save us from our sins. So I hope you guys have a great week and um, we'll see you next time. I don't know where I'll be broadcasting from, but we'll see you next time. God's blessings.